Uh, this video is going to show you how to create a GOAD map uh, using your computer. I'm going to show you two techniques. One that requires a sign up for Digimaps for Schools, which is GIS that uh, requires a subscription. And then secondly, I'm going to show you how you can do exactly the same thing with ArcGIS, which is a GIS that you can use uh, free of charge if you get yourself uh, an account. So firstly, what is a GOAD map? A GOAD map is basically a land use map. It's named after a guy called Charles Goad, who was a civil engineer who originally designed uh, land use maps for fire insurance companies. Um, and they showed uh, exactly what was in all of the buildings in an urban area. Now I'm going to show you how to design one of those uh, yourselves. So um, this is the location I'm going to have a look at. I'm in uh, central Birmingham, just north of Birmingham New Street Station. I'm on a road uh, near where I used to live called Temple Street. And I'm going to draw a GOAD map for Temple Street. But at the moment, I've uh, got map view here on uh, Google Maps. I can click through to the satellite view if I want to. Uh, and I've also got my uh, street view uh, guy that I can chuck in and I can have a, a look around on Temple Street. So I'm going to start here uh, at the bottom of Temple Street and I'm going to work out designing a GOAD map for this road uh, up here on Temple Street. So the first thing I need is uh, I need a map. And I don't like the maps uh, that Google have got because they're sort of semi 3D and they haven't got any of the buildings quite outlined on them perfectly. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to do this on Digimap. So if you uh, log into Digimaps for schools, um, we've got a school account for this. And then I'm going to go to uh, Temple Street in Birmingham. Oh, let's try finding the one in the UK. See if they take us to the American one first. Messages. All uh, right, that's too far north. Here we go. Uh, here's Temple Street. So uh, I was on uh, Google Maps a second ago. I was down the bottom down here just by the Tesco's on that corner here of New Street running uh, east to west and Temple Street that runs up there uh, to the north. So uh, here's New Street down the bottom and there's Temple Street running up there. So instantly I can see this map is a little bit better because actually it gives me outlines of all the buildings uh, on here. So what I could do if I wanted a really high res version is I could uh, effectively print myself an image of this, uh, take this PDF uh, and use the PDF. Um, but I'm going to be uh, super speedy and I'm just going to simply print screen that image. I'm going to open up a, a program like Paint. I don't need anything complex. Uh, and here is my print screen of Temple Street. I'm uh, simply just going to grab the whole thing, Control A. And then I'm going to move it into the corner because the only thing I want is the buildings on Temple Street. I'm going to cut off the other bits that I don't want uh, around here. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so that I've actually got room for a key in a second too. So um, I'm starting at the most southern parts of, uh, of Temple Street down here. And I'm going to try and make a goad map for some of the uh, buildings that I see as I go up on uh, up the road. So at the very bottom, let's uh, just chuck me back down uh, with the street view again. Uh, here I am facing up Temple Street. Um, so I've got two, build two buildings. On the right, I've got a big Tesco, so Tesco's Metro. And on the left here, I've got a clothes shop. So uh, let's fill those in. So what do I want to do? Firstly, I want to make myself a key. So I'm just using the rectangle uh, button on here uh, and in black. And I'm going to make myself a nice bold. Uh, key. I'm going to get the line tool on here. Uh, and if I press shift as I use the line tool, it will make sure I get something that's nice and straight going across. I'm just going to do this a few times so that I've got a few bits of my key that I can colour in in a minute as and when I get different land uses. So I'm going to use the text uh, button at the top. 38 is far too big, so I'm just going to make this a, a little bit smaller. And I'm going to stick this in something sensible. And uh, my first one that I saw was that I had uh, a food store uh, or supermarket. A bit more space over here, so let's just make a bit more space over here. Let's try spelling supermarket correctly. And let's just pop that right down on there. So uh, my first building here on the right, on the east-hand side of uh, Temple Street, was a supermarket. I'm going to go for a, a red for that building, and I'm going to colour that building in there. Now, at the moment, I see sort of numbers, the numbers of the shops that are in here, sometimes the names, uh, and that might get a little bit messy. So quite simply, I can just get the eraser tool if I want to. Um, and I can, oops, uh, with the eraser tool, just rub out wherever there's any words 
or numbers and then just fill those gaps in again afterwards. So I had a food store on that side and then on the other side I had a clothing. So my clothing one, I'm going to go for as a green. A green in here, clothing in here. Again, those numbers there, I don't quite like those numbers, so I'm just going to rub them out. And then just fill in the green. Um, and as simple as that, I can work my way uh, up the road doing that. So uh, let's just have a look at in a little bit more detail at this road. And I'll just use the side uh, that's the west-hand side here. So I've got clothes store here. And actually, if I look at my map, I've got a closed store and then I've got something small and thin right at the front down there. And if I look what that is, I've actually got a door here that's 20A temple buildings. The A afterwards often indicated that it might be on the ground floor. So these doors here are going to lead to a set of stairs that go to something above. So uh, 20A temple buildings. Let's have a look. 20A temple street. Uh, let's try Temple Street, Birmingham. Uh, and they are bum, 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 bum. building, and they are having a look at that. Uh, some of these flats that are higher up. So I could uh, in here in my next one just put stairs to first floor, perhaps, because I'm looking at bottom floor of here. Uh, so stairs to first floor, I'm perhaps going to colour those in uh, grey, maybe a bit of a dull colour because I'm not that interested uh, in what's going on in there. Uh, then if I have a look up, Ryman's, the stationers, followed by Barber's on there, so that would be 20 and then 19. Um, so if we carry on up, what have I got after that? I've got another one in here, Temple Lofts. Um, so if I look at what's Temple Loft on Temple Street. Uh, it's more accommodation, it's flats to let. Uh, so those ones in there, that would be another one that I'd colour in grey in that section in there. And I could work my way up uh, up this road if I wanted to, having a look. Uh, I've got next, I've got the Trocadero. Uh, it says on here, the Trocadero PH Public House. So this is a bar uh, in here, a pub. And it actually has a, uh, unusually has something enclosed within the Trocadero by the looks of things. So, so if I have a look up here, what have I got in the Trocadero? Here's the entry door into the Trocadero, but I've actually got another set of doors in here. And perhaps this takes you upstairs to an evening venue or um, maybe a nightclub rather than the actual bar that's down the bottom. And that's probably the reason for that change of shape that's up in there. So uh, to make this go back then, all I'd have to do is go all the way up the street, uh, have a look. If I'm in any doubt, Google what the stores are. If I was there in real life, I could just walk in and ask uh, and find out exactly what's going on in there. If I decide at any point I want to go back and use the same colour, uh, if I've used these preset colours already, that's nice and easy. I can just click on the top. But if you ever need to get one of the colours that you've used, perhaps you uh, made a particular colour up in here that you wanted a particular shade of something that you were using, um, then you can always use this pipette tool over on here, the colour picker. So if you use the colour picker and then you click on a colour, whatever the next thing you do, it'll be in that colour. So. Uh, pipette tool and then the green will allow you to use green. Uh, this background colour, for example, isn't a preset on paint. So if I wanted to pipette tool the background colour, I could then colour buildings back in if I didn't want them uh, coloured a particular colour or I wanted them to be blank. Um, so I'm going to pipette tool the red and fill that back in with red because that's what I wanted uh, at the end of the day. Right, that shows you how to uh, do this using a base map that you found uh, through um, using Digimaps for School. I'm now going to talk you through really quickly how to use a different piece of software, ArcGIS, um, which you can get a free account for. So uh, I will put this link into the uh, into uh, the comments underneath. But this is a layer that you can uh, use for ArcGIS, and I'm going to open this layer up in the map viewer. I'm already signed in. Uh, I'm not signed in actually at the moment. Um, uh, so I've got this uh, live. Let's go into Temple Street, Birmingham, UK. See where it takes us and drops us off. 
right, this has brought me into Temple Street. Here's Temple Street here. Here's New Street along the bottom. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing to start with. Uh, I'm just going to print screen this and I'm going to create myself a new uh, version in here. So again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just shrink this down to the size that I want. And then I'm going to make it big enough so that I can get myself a key afterwards. So I'm just going to again design my key really quickly with a rectangle and then a few lines that I'm just pressing shift as I draw these lines to make sure they come out nice and neat and nice and straight. And I know, um, because I've already done this once, that uh, I wanted um, supermarkets and I wanted uh, clothing. So let's have a think about how I can put those two shops on here. Because this one here gives me a nice outline in the kind of grey of where the shops are. It doesn't show me the individual shops, which is why it's not quite, quite so good as the other one, but it is free. Um, so quite simply, I want to be able to draw more of these uh, grey lines. So first of all, if I use the pipette tool on the grey, that'll pick up that same grey colour. And then I'm going to draw a line for Tesco's. Now I need to think from my map previously on, uh, in fact, I've shut that down. If I open up Google Maps again and I go back into Temple Street, Birmingham. Um, I need to have a think, how big was that store? So I remember that Tesco went all the way up to here before I hit Evans Cycles, just above uh, in here. And Tesco's was about two thirds of the length from the bottom of these buildings up to this little road here on the left. So on here, here's Temple Street, here's that little road on the left. I know that about two thirds of the way up, Tesco stops. So I can draw my line across in here and I can color in, oops. Uh, there's my line drawn, and then I can use the bucket fill with a color to color in Tesco's. And if I go back to here, I can have a look, uh, if I want to, at how far up um, I thought that my clothes shop on the corner went. I think it goes up about this far. So let's again get the pipette tool, sucker up the, uh, sucker up the gray, and I think the shape of my building is about like that. And uh, let's stick my clothing in, in that color. So uh, there's another method for creating go maps, this time using some free software. I uh, hope those have been helpful. Uh, links to all the things that I've been talking about will be in the comments.